All right, episode 33, my first with Brady Matthews. Uh, episode my, Scotty Pippen, dude. Episode Scotty Pippen, that's right. Or Larry Bird, if you have it, if you will. I'll go with Pippen. Uh, Rick that. hasn't put his headsets on yet because he's dealing with a uh, issue with his lady. It's not um, just an issue with my lady. It's I'm, his... I'm ta- I got it. I can do it. Uh, I'm talking to my landlord, or as he wants to be called, my lord. Because, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because... Uh, the way he's talking to me. No, set up, set up why we just did that. Set up why we just did that, would you? Oh, I was trying, but you cut me off. Okay, so... <laughs> uh, sorry, sorry John's peeking. John's sorry peeking. So we're, we're turning... It, this is obviously Brady a disaster right up, off dude. the bat. Brady just knifed you, bitch. <laughs> dude. Are we going? Yes. Right, we're yeah, in right. the heat right now, dude. We're in the heat. This is called My First with Brady was, Matthews. The very first podcast uh, with the title My First in it. Well, why don't we get started? This is my first time having my girlfriend be at my apartment going from yeah. the kitchen with a with a pot uh-huh. of w- sink water that's rising yeah. into the bathtub. That's gross. Is it is it just? Do you think it's clear sink water? Or do you oh, have I'm stuff sure. In there? I'm sure it's, it's clear, drinkable, not gonna gross up the bathroom. Brady, there's sink a, water. a lot of backstory to this. I used to live in this apartment building yeah. with Rick. The landlord is. Is this the same say, apartment that yeah. uh, Brent Warren lived in? Yes, that's the same place. Why don't you move out? You have money. Um, he invested. Can I, may I, Rick? He invested a lot. <laughs> the podcast. In, Cryptocurrencies, and <laughs> at, at the right time though. At the I'm, right time, I'm still doing well. Doing I'm still well. doing well. But this, the money's at work. It's is not this, at. Is leisure. this true? Yeah. Oh my god. I mean, this is years ago. Before yeah. everyone, before everyone but was before on Twitter. It was cool. <laughs> by the anyway. way, we are not sponsored by. Uh, we're not sponsored by kombucha, but it does help the throat on a. Uh, we are, however, sponsored. By the Steve Harvey show. <laughs> my mom drank one of my kombuchas, and she's been 14 years sober, and there's trace amounts of alcohol in it. Oh, she and got fucking like, wasted. I was like, how do you not know that there's, everyone knows that there's alcohol Wait, so in she it. can't have cough syrup either? Right. Damn, that shit's fucking... I've had some cough syrup. It makes you fucking twisted, dude. Sweet, dude. You ever had sex on cough syrup? No. Uh, give it a try. Um, okay. <laughs> well, Rick, do you want to be a part of the group? Yeah, I, I just, mean, how bad is the sink? It can't be that it's, fucking it's, bad. It's I just, I, it's rising right now. I just have to message her. Look, I just want to make sure she knew that I was comfortable. And what is going on with your phone? Why is it so jacked up? You can't show. No one's gonna see it, dude. It's far away. Unless you have fucking amazing eyes. Well, I have to imagine the people that listen to this podcast don't have amazing ears, or they would have turned out by oh, now. Oh, come on, Rick. All right, thank you so much. How much time do we have left? <laughs> Typical joke. <laughs> right. Um, I'm fun. What I like to do is I like to start all my uh, shows with a celebrity impression or just an impression altogether. Okay. You go first, Rick. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Wilma! <laughs> Pretty good. Who was that? <laughs> Barney. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Rick, Rick's, John? In, Rick's impression is going to be huge. <laughs> you just impression it. Dude, that's so is good. Greatest, the wisest impression in the whole world. <laughs> Dude, that's so good. That's also Barney. All right. Uh, Who's that? <laughs> My girlfriend. We were messaging. Betty Walsh. She said, uh, well, don't say the name. Sorry. Betty Halls. <laughs> could you could you bleep the name? Sure. We'll, we'll edit it out. Um, uh, okay. Um, John? Yes. So you're a big Lakers fan, huh? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing a bull shirt, but yeah, sure. This is, this, that's distracting. Yeah, I'm sorry, but there's, my apartment's flooding right now. What? You have so many problems. Every time I talk to Rick, there's always yeah, some true. sort of problem. Well, he's Jewish. Strike one and two. That's a good point. Very good point. Why? And did, why did Jewish people have? <laughs> why did Jewish people have so many problems? Because I, they can't assimilate to just everyday life as good as I us like Christians, this. bro. I like this, dude. <laughs> Come on, dog. Thank you, Jesus. Bless Come up, on, dude. man. Bless up. Rick's like, oh, the wind is out. You know, I have to go change or whatever it is. Rick, do you want to do? That's it? a bad example. But you know, all your stuff, all your problems. He's always playing the camera. Rick is always camera one. That's why he's. A, he's and sag. John, quick question. Uh, yeah. Uh, when, you <laughs> when you were writing for Undateable, yeah. what did you find was the uh, the hardest thing about writing for Undateable besides writing lines for Rick? Well, we didn't have to write lines for Rick. As, if you watch oh, the show, shit. You, you would notice. Yeah. We didn't really That's write why I'm still in a Dude, is, is this a roast or is this my first with Brady Matthews? <laughs> it's the second one. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, that, that's did, why my apartment's flooding right now because I didn't make yeah. enough money. Because we didn't give him enough lines. If you give me a few more lines, <laughs> oh, could have had a better disposal. <laughs> now, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> I love this transition. <laughs> you, play, you, play, uh, you played a guy uh, with the crazy hair. What's his name that was in Ghostbusters? Uh, Harold Ramis. Yes. You re- recently did that on Netflix. How did you like doing that? How was it finding that, uh, that character? You're good at this, Brady. Thank you. <laughs> so the guy <laughs> yeah, that you didn't know his name of. Yeah, Harold Ramis. Yeah, it, playing him was great. Mm. Anything in detail at all? 
I loved it. I loved uh, <laughs> being able to work with an amazing, not just cast, but the lighting department, Ooh. the, the uh, you know. The grips. The grips were fine. They're always loud. I've worked with some better grips. Like Johnny, you work with a lot of good grips lately? You know, the, the grips are all good sure. in my experience. But I'm only working on union projects. So I have union grips. Yeah, so. yeah a lot of the grips that I work with are, you know, they're, they're part-time <laughs> grips. Sure. They're usually they're working over at uh, the, uh, the, the other fiddle. place. Can I say, though, that that... <laughs> Isn't that a bar? Yeah, they, they make there. a lot of money tending bar in L.A. I get it. I get it. They're poor. Can I just say, I'm glad you brought up that question mm. for Rick, mm. because that mm. is, to this date, mm. subject to change in the future, that is Rick's best performance so far as an actor. He's mm. never been better than in that as Harold Ramis. Really, we, you should have... Oh. Can we say what, what, what the project is? or Because I don't want to give it away and get in trouble for that. Yeah, too. but real quick, could I, <laughs> could, I, um, could I just do a quick response to what John said? Sure. Team me back up one more time. You know, Brady, it's so interesting that you say that about the movie on Netflix because mm. when Rick played Hell Ramos, that was his best performance of It's the best job he's ever done. To well, me. that and the performance I've had with my landlord for not blowing my nut because <laughs> my fucking sink is overflowing right now. Why would that make you blow your nut? Dude. Yeah. Oh, it, I mean my wad. Has this you happened before, nut. Rick? Has this happened before, the sink situation? I'm glad you asked. What's the name of the podcast? My first. Uh, this is actually... I think this has happened before, yeah. This apartment sucks. <laughs> but cryptocurrency's really got your hands behind your back, huh? Oh, it's got my... L- or your nuts in your throat, oh, right? Geez. I mean, uh, what, is this called my first or the it's, roast of Donald Trump? It's, it's, called my first. it's a PG podcast. Let's keep it PG. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys, good. No, but uh, I loved working on that movie, A Few Tile and Stupid Gesture on Netflix. Movie on Netflix. Starring Ratings were huge. Will Forte, Dom greatest, El Gleason, Emmy yeah. Rossum, <laughs> Matt Walsh, mm-hmm. Joel McHale. Wow, now you're really directed just, by now you're David just dropping Wayne. names? Well, I, I, somebody's got to. <laughs> Damon Wayans is in it? Senior, junior, or junior, <laughs> junior? Or senior, junior? How many? How many? Are, there's a lot of them, right? You're not allowed to say um. Ooh. You have to say. But can I say ooh? Yeah, there's a lot of ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. David Wayne, not Damon Wayne. Oh, David Wayne. David? David, David Wayne. He's the white Wayans? So, uh, <sighs> who's a better kisser, you or Rick? I think I'm a, an incredible kisser. Yeah. Rick, Rick is very passionate. Can you give us a little uh, example? Well, come on. Do you want me to kiss come this come on, microphone that all these on, poor comedians are talking to? Come, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it. It's all about having a fl- fluffy lips. What is this hand for? It's what all is about this? Having fluffy lips. He's grabbing he's a boob. <laughs> I don't know. It looks like he's grabbing some nuts. Okay. Doesn't matter. You, it's fine. It's okay. It's fine. Right, John? Yeah, it's fine. You yeah. can do whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> when you guys, where did you the first, but let's get real, guys. Can I be real? Fucking around. Can I be real? Yeah. The only person I kiss is my wife, Allison. Yep. And, and you love when her. you're in love with somebody, yeah, that passionate. comes through the kiss. Mm-hmm. It's not like some bullshit like, oh, I met you at the comedy store. I can't wait to finger you and then leave and then go do my set in the OR. Right, Rick? <laughs> oh, are they? <laughs> oh, yeah. no. Yeah. Oh, no. He's calling but you out like, again, dude. Yeah. Will you set up Is an this OR the thing? roast of Donald Trump or the roast of Rick <laughs> Glassman, dude? What? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. So wait. anyway, if you love the woman, you're going to be a very good kisser. Before we go on, yeah. John, could you actually, because that, as silly as that was, I know that's a real thing, could you talk about what that means? Like, when you're in love with somebody uh-huh. and when you're connecting with them physically, emotionally, it is something different. So yes. can you explain how you and feel you communicate is, with Allison when you This is how I feel. This is where I feel I'm the best in, Great question, in Los Angeles. Because all of my friends are just, like, dating people and, like, you know, hitting it and quitting it or whatever you, you kids say these days. Dude, Meanwhile, I gotta I'm take in... this. It's my girlfriend. <laughs> Unreal. Unreal. It's Thomas Unreal. Dale. Hello? Too. Hi. Hi. Is everything I, okay? Um, do you friends. want me to step away from the podcast? Is this private? Uh-huh. No, this is good. Uh, is it? Wait, is everything okay? I mean, ish. How long is he gonna be? Oh, <sighs> we've got. Uh, I don't know. Well, he's not talking. I'm not good at math. Listen, baby. Forty uh, minutes. Uh, Forty minutes. Said, no, it's thirty minutes to ten minutes. Right now, we're ten right. minutes of power. And right now, we want to get into the real stuff. Is it? And it's still rising. John, while he's talking, oh, let's me. <clears throat> let's get intimate here. Yeah. First comedian you saw that you that you fell in love oh, with. I'm so sorry that's happening. <laughs> <laughs> I love the, the real no, answer. I love that we're gonna talk over this. The real answer so is in Chicago. Mm-hmm. It was at my, when I was eight years old. My dad took me to the Second City, and the <laughs> Tina Fey's Tina Fey show was on. It's called Paradigm Lost. It was Tina Fey, Rachel Dratch, Scott Asset doing live sketch comedy. I was eight years old, and it Steve Carell. No, he was not. He was already gone. But oh. it blew my mind, for sure. I love that. How'd it go? Real good. Is the guy there? Not yet. <clears throat> okay. 
John, I'm sorry. My, I was on the phone. Tell me what you just said. Rick, hold on. Rick can watch it on the podcast. Yeah, I'll be, want, I'll, I'm on my way. Yeah, Rick, Rick will definitely uh, not repost this or turn into it. Uh, who, who would you? Who's your favorite comedian that you first saw? Who's your first comedian that you ever saw that you were like, "That's my guy." Br- Brian Regan. Was it really Brian Regan? Yeah, I didn't see him. It was the first like. You ever, heard his, you ever heard his UPS bit where, like, how much is he? He's like, oh, no. <laughs> and he used to get it on the, on the scale. And he's like, oh, it's like. <laughs> that's, a, that's good. Brian Regan. That's Thank good you. Brian Regan. Yeah. 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 Um, it wasn't that bit. It, John, I'm going to ask you this question. <laughs> sure. Would you please explain to me the subtext of oh, the no. joke that Brady made, which was, I won't. Forget watching it, because obviously not. But that I wouldn't share or repost it. Because <laughs> no one ever shares or reposts my shit, so that I'm used to it. That's it's fine. What, that's what he's saying. He's, he's do, you, do, you ask, do you ask your friends to? He's been yes. Hurt, and they say him. what? They say, yeah, and then they, <laughs> and then they don't. Huh. He's been hurt and annoyed several times in the past. And yeah. That is coming through in his interview with you. That right makes now. sense. He's, proje- okay. Listen, he's projecting past I, pain I know, onto you. <clears throat> I know you guys have been on shows, you've written on shows, and that's why... I have you in here because I want to talk about that. I would love to. Process. I would love to, yes. Rick, when you were playing Harold Ramis, am I saying that right? Yeah, it's Rick. <laughs> yeah. Did you find it impossible when you were... <laughs> 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 Brady's just so great, dude. <laughs> Did you like growing your hair out for that? Loved it. Am I in frame when I lean back like this? Yeah, of course. Fuck. What about now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll put up a picture just of me as Harold Ramis painting. here. Uh, we'll yeah. put that in post. Yeah, I love I love growing my hair out. Let me ask you a question. Do you get nervous memorizing dialogue, like li- lots of dialogue? That's a great question. Because um, it's not easy. JD, I can't do have it. Have you seen Have you seen actors on set literally fuck up like a hundred times? In yeah, a row? yeah. Do you, as a writer, do you get Do you get annoyed by that? Uh, yeah, Unf- and it's unfair, I guess. But also, it's like you're it's getting your paid shit. five times what we make. Just memorize it. You know what I mean? But so that is kind of like. But also, I've seen many actors crush it. Right. Oh, do like you when like Rick had one line on an undateable episode that one time, he absolutely oh, memorized it. Do you want me to? Do you want me, I still have it. Yeah, memorized. he still got it. Can memorized. you do it? Yeah, do it. Yeah. Do your one can line. You, wait, can you set up the. the yeah, John, set it up for me. Set it up. So Can I play Brent Moore? Yeah, I'll be. <laughs> yeah, so Brent Moore's doing his thing. <laughs> that was my Brent Moore impression. <laughs> wait, what was it? I got <laughs> <laughs> Pretty close, Rick? Yeah, it was really good. So Brent's talking about how he's in love with Bridget Mendler, and Bursky says. My boobs. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. So that was it. Yeah. Yeah. John wrote that one for me. Yeah. I got. I got my boy a line. John, did you have to sneak in? You're like, just talk it. Frick. Yeah. Do you want me to answer the question though about the memorizing the lines? Yes. Please. Yeah. Okay. Being dead honest, I really. i being. So serious. this is gonna sound corny, but this is the truth. Yes. If for me, I'm sure I'm speaking for many people as well, though. Sure. If I feel that I have done the work I needed to do, which is just. Learn the lines. You yeah, know? yeah, but just go ahead. No, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Go no, ahead. no, please. But learning the lines is one part, right? But actually, like playing the part and doing the part. Like, how did you go about researching the part? Well, that's a separate question. We were talking about memorizing the lines, right? Okay. okay. So, do you want to, this? I'm sorry. This is my first time doing this, and I love the way you tied that in. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Yeah, and I appreciate you. Uh, you uh, take your shoes off podcast. I think you just speak to your process of yeah. how you do scenes. See, that's John, the, I appreciate that's you. That's the name of my uh, podcast. It's called Take Your Shoes Off Podcast. It's real great. I love that you guys are all doing supporting your fucking cool kids uh, jacket. You Rick, know, this is Rick's podcast. You want to check it out? Take Your Shoes Off with Rick Lassman. It's also on YouTube. I actually recommend checking it out on YouTube. We'll, we'll do that later. Oh. So when you're... <laughs> when you're uh, so, yeah. So learning the lines, uh, being nervous about not remembering the lines isn't something I have to worry about. Yeah. And this is going to sound corny. But if I did the work, because sometimes if you get nervous or if you're in a situation, sometimes people blank or forget. I'll never worry about something happening that's out of my control. Yeah. It's just one less step. Learn the lines. Do the work. Show up. And if I need to, I'll just go like this. Lines. Line. Yeah. And then people go like I this. I stepped on that. My bad. It's okay. People go like this. They'll go. When I used to call line and undateable, uh, they John would sometimes be on the side and he'd go like this. Um, line. <laughs> I would say line. Yeah, and then you tell me what my line is. <laughs> I would say I would say you don't you don't have a line in this scene. Oh, I thought I was trying to set you up so you could say my boobies. <laughs> oh, all right, do it again. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Jesus Christ! Sorry, dude. I got a question. This shit gets me gassy. I tell you. Yeah, because it has alcohol. Hey, well, like, no, no, uh, yeah. no. Um, this is no. Um, <laughs> when how how <laughs> how new important. how it's new really is important. I hold on how new is this relationship? Uh, is this fairly new? Yeah. 
How do you feel about this? Are we? Because I know, I know Rick Glassman. Rick Glassman, he, you know, he's a fucking, he's a tomcat. He's a, he's a wild card. <laughs> you know what I mean, I mean, he's a good-looking guy, oh, oh. <laughs> and he's very physical. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Rick, do you want, do you want love? Do you want that, Rick? I, I have a question for you. Who do you know that doesn't? Why do you keep looking at him? He's my best friend. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What? Uh, yeah, I, I do. Yeah. And um, I think I may have found it. She's oh, the she best woman that Rick's ever met. In how, in old, how old? How old? Guys? She'll be twenty-one 14. in uh, <laughs> what? seven years. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> she's twenty-nine today. That's what? awesome. Yeah. Oh, today she's twenty-nine. Correct. I didn't know I you were into older women, did. dude. Rick. 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 Yeah. Rick. Yeah. Rick. I do it for you, dude. John, see, I tried. Rick. John, I, I tried to get. I tried day. to get serious. That was good. I tried to get serious. Yeah, I want to do the serious stuff here. You know what? Actually, I'm glad you when said it that I way. When do I talk? Hit me. I'll have to be serious. <laughs> Come on. Okay, your grandma does a lot of stuff for Rich Eisen. Which, how the fuck did you get get in on that? Oh, can I answer that one? Sure. <clears throat> Rick has the gift of gab, and this is why we're friends with AJ. Can we set up how you met? Give me the whole breakdown how you met Rich Eisen because that's got to be a tough. You were doing interview. an interview for. I was doing an interview for Rich Eisen, just promoting Undateable, uh -huh. and on my way to the Rich Eisen show. My, which is shot live, my cousin Danny. Shout out to Danny. Shout out to Danny. He's got a bar in Silver Lake. That's my brother, but Danny works there. Sure. Highland Park and Glendale. It's called the Greyhound and ETA. <laughs> anyway, Danny called me and said they're playing uh, Instagram videos of Grandma. You can check them out on Instagram, hashtag Grandma Gloria Glass. And they actually do pretty good, don't yeah, they? They're, they're, it's really funny. It's just, you know, there's a novelty of an 89-year-old woman yelling, you know, fuck this and yeah. shit this, and yeah. she's just... Oh Jesus my God. Sorry, Christ, I, I forgot. Dude. I'm not supposed to swear. Sorry. No, it's, you, you can swear. Dude. Maybe no more coffee. So uh, the videos are doing very well. I don't know anything about football, so it was a good end. When I went on, we talked about my grandma, so I said, let's get grandma on the phone. Yeah. She killed. Rich said, next time grandma's, uh, whenever you want to come back, please. Yeah. And I said, next time my grandma's in town, can we come on together? Yeah. Grandma came on the Rich Eisen show with him. That's awesome. And destroyed. And then they started calling my grandma, and my dad was telling me. Do you, know, you even know when they call her? No, I'm not part of it anymore. They don't even tell you. Yeah, no, no, no. They just call your fucking yeah. grandma. My, gr my grandma's part of the program. Dude, now. that is so fucking cool. Uh -huh. And he calls her grandma and stuff. Yeah, he calls her grandma yeah. Glassman. And on the, on the, <laughs> I don't know if I you know. guys put up videos. If so, I'll send yeah, we it do. to you. They put Please. up the, it's and it shows like it says Grandma Glassman. No, because I was thing. watching Rich Eisen the other day when my cable went out, and that was the only thing that was on. And it said, "Would it say Grandma oh, Glassman?" You, you tuned in when Grandma was on. Yeah, I watched the whole thing. I go. Is this Rick's fucking grandma? Yeah, cool. And they go, Gr Grandma Glassman. They go, well, and they said your name, Rick. And I go, how the fuck did this happen? It's wild. Get to gap. And, it, and, and I think Whitney was the guest that that time too. She whatever uh, that whatever that means. She got on the uh, there was this the celebrity uh, fantasy football league thing. Yeah. And my grandma's on it. And Snoop Dogg tweets out because yeah, my grandma had beat him that week. And Snoop Dogg tweets out, "I'm coming for your Grandma Glassman." <laughs> just, this is wild, man. Wild man. So you have a, a close relationship with your grandma, John? Do you have a close relationship with your grandma? Yeah, my wife just made a really sweet birthday present for her 89th birthday. She took footprints of my baby and that put is it fucking down cute. and painted a crab out of it because she lives in Florida, and so we just sent that in the mail. So my great my grandmother is going to get that. It's her great granddaughter. So that's fucking awesome. It's pretty great. <laughs> How does it feel being a dad? Um, do you have Do you have any fun things you do for her to make her laugh? That you can um, show us? She likes to, if I pretend to be like this, <laughs> and then I go, boo. She really likes that. She goes, <gasps> and then she'll laugh for a solid couple minutes. That's good. That's a really tell good one. Tell about the first trick that you taught her. Which was the first trick that I taught her? The oh, yeah. So we actually taught her how to do this. So I would do this, but I would go slow. I would stick my tongue out first, and then I would do it. and be like, you can do it. And then she would just laugh and laugh and laugh. And then after a few days, she started sticking her tongue out. And I was like, good, good. And then a few days later, she started doing it. I really? Like, I taught her how to do that. Careful, dude. Yeah, Careful. Dude. They're little sponges at that yeah. age. They'll pick up anything. You know, they say 80% of the brain develops from year one to five, zero to five. That's great. <laughs> zero to five? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can see that. I but I that. highly recommend Parenthood. It's the greatest. It's yeah. the greatest thing. Rick, you want kids someday? Jason Tatum's series. Jason Parent Tatum? Parenthood. Yeah, I love it. I'm in season two, and I'm loving it. What is she going to dress up as for Halloween? She is going to be a pineapple. <laughs> Fucking get out of my face. You know what's weird? And maybe it's because she comes from a theatrical background. I bet you she's actually going to be a pineapple. Yeah, she'll become it. Yeah, can we my put up a picture of that? Yeah, I have I'll it. It's amazing. It. We'll put it in post. Okay. Yeah, I got to remember. I got to write all these down. 
Can um, you mark these down? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, Haley will mark them down. She's good at this stuff. <laughs> um, okay, that's good. I would like to say seeing John as a dad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I want to hear that. Yeah. I, but did, has you noticed it's mellowed him out a little bit? I think that just getting older, and maybe this is a corny thing to say, but like being – John has been working a bit, like consistently, in yeah. a way that is – Newer for new for all of us in a way that uh, I I've noticed it's all it's all part of the same thing. It's not one thing, but John uh, speaking from my perspective, John's confidence has c- constantly been rising. Of his relationship is amazing, blossoming. Uh, he's and there's all these things that he has. He has not just he has his girlfriend, the fiance. Now he has his wife. They have a beautiful place together. Yeah, been now, there. They've been working. Have you been married? I have not. I've not been. I've not been married. To my I've been place. to his place. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I took him. I took him to a basketball Pretty close, game. Though. <laughs> And there's just a lot of things that I am no like I would be grateful for. So I have to imagine. I've never heard you say that you're happy of, of, with your life, but I have really? to, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> John's a very happy boy. I'm a pretty happy guy. The baby's right. dressing up as a pineapple. That's, that's yeah. the, to me that's pretty much happiness. So, so getting at its peak, getting yeah. to be at least in his 30s, let alone now mid 30s, yeah. and oh. and having some jobs and, and still having, hitting that gym, boys. being able to pay for still rent parenting. and not have to walk dogs anymore. I think. The energy has been able to go either into his work yeah. and or when we have fun moments like this on the podcast. <laughs> like at home, John can never do something like this. Like a little simple setup I'm going to give John that I know he's going to do yeah. because oh he's the guy. Yeah. John, Yeah. you know, do, uh, do a silly voice. Huge. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah. And it's so subtle. Yeah. But I want to say uh-huh. – <laughs> that I am very happy. I know you are. Oh, I didn't say the thing about you being a dad, but go ahead. Okay, okay, go. You finish. Watching dad, w- watching, <laughs> <laughs> watching, watching you watch your, may I say your baby's name? Sure. What is it one more time? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Funny. So funny. Watching John so watch Iris, um, it has made me tear up sometimes. Yeah. It's weird Rick, because. Rick was the first per- human that Iris met in the hospital. He came and visited, and Rick started crying. Oh, there It was pretty great. Did I- Rick do the. And she didn't get it? She didn't get it. She was oh, too. She was one dude. day old at the time. It was too. too well, they too. say they developed they from, developed zero, from one to five days. zero to six yeah. and, and 100. Uh, but no, I will say minutes. I've always wanted to work in TV and film. That's always been my dream. Obviously, I would like to do it at a higher level, and that's what we work towards. And sure. it's very hard. And each time, you get, each time you get to a new place, it's harder to get to the next place. Yeah. It never stops being work. But everyone is like, oh, man, once the kid comes, you're never going to sleep, and you're going to lose inspiration, and you're going to be so tired. But there are waves where she doesn't sleep. But for the most part, she sleeps great. And me and Allison have been more inspired than ever. We've been doing more stuff than we would do when we didn't have Yeah, to. You, I, I've seen your Instagram videos. <clears throat> you seem Thank very you, motivated, <clears throat> very motivated with your zaddy stuff. Yeah, And people, you. if you haven't checked out John DeWalt, please check him out. Uh, what is your Instagram handle? John DeWalt. At John DeWalt. Yeah. So this, J-E-N-D-E-W-A-L-T. Yeah, S and S and double O-P. He, um... He does push-ups over his daughter, which is pretty cool. That was a good one. And then he'll show you the gym a couple times, and then he'll just do polls about what a zaddy is, which I don't really know what the fuck a zaddy is. A zaddy is a father who is very sexy, dresses really cool and hip, and is really killing it. So sick. Yeah. So, so sick. That's what, is a, um, what is a sitcom that you grew up with that you wish you could write on? Good Cheers question. for John. Cheers. Good question. Cheers. Good, good question. <clears throat> uh, Fresh which, Prince. Which character would you be? Would I be? Yeah. I mean, I, 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 I can. He honest- thinks he would be Will, but I, he would be Jeffrey. I would see. I, I, I can see. <laughs> yeah. I, I can honestly say I would love to say Will, but uh, that's one. That's 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 the king. Good. That's good. Thanks. Yeah, John. I would pro- probably. You should write comedy. I try when they let me. I would probably be Jeffrey. <laughs> yeah. You be, who would you be? And what what uh, show? And who would you be? Uh, Cheers. And I would probably be Ted Danson. No, I would. I would probably be like Woody. I want to say. Who, yeah. Everyone would want to say. Or that. would yeah. you say okay, I so might even be like Rebecca? Yeah. yeah. But you know who knows? Brady, <coughs> here's yeah. the first. Go ahead. If you yeah. were to be on a show from mm-hmm. one of your favorites that comes growing up, who Duke, would you be and why? Dukes of Hazard, Bo, Bo Duke. Bo. Yeah. That's cool. You would look good in the shorts. You got yeah. a great bod over there. Well, he never wore shorts. He wore pants. No, but if you did. <laughs> if I wore shorts? If you were on the show, I think like, your thing would be shorts. That's what you meant, right, bud? Yeah, of course, bud. Oh, like jorts? <laughs> like jorts? That's up to you. Yeah, it's up Am to I him, saying right, that right? <laughs> jorts? I don't know. Why don't we put up a pic? How, wait. How do you say it? Jorts? Dude, these are great. Keep the questions coming. I okay. like talking about real I have stuff. a ton. I have a ton. Hit, hit them. I have a and t- I want to ask you stuff, too. Okay. John is the first friend I've had where I've experienced the baby and the way I have friends with babies. 
But seeing them not being pregnant, finding out they're pregnant, seeing Allison along the way, get, yeah. growing this baby inside Allison, of her, dude. giving shit. birth for it, this crazy birth experience. She grew it inside had. her. She, we were working on Cool Kids, canceled at the time, not canceled, and she had hypermesis at the same time that Amy Schumer did. What is that? Mesis that's a little more so extra. It's, lack of soup? It's morning sickness that's 24-7, uninterrupted. You're always vomiting. You're that's, always sick. Maybe that's food poisoning. And No, it's for like months and months. It's I've had it. But yeah. For months? For months? Yeah. No, I would yeah. say I'd probably lose a lot of weight. <laughs> yeah. Hey, oh. Uh, that is a danger because you're pregnant at the, at the time. But yeah, she sure. would have to drive. We live an hour from Fox. She'd have to drive over the hills each way, pitch jokes, quietly excuse As herself she's throwing to, go, up. to go vomit to, and sneak out of the room, come back into the room, pitch jokes, walk to set, watch rehearsal, pregnant, the whole so thing. So shout out to. Shout out to Allison. <clears throat> Allison, Allison, who's yeah. the fucking warrior yeah. of the group. Yeah. yeah. I love that. Let's get back to the questions. Um, <laughs> Segue. Guys, seeing what? Seeing him with that baby, it's <laughs> good, good, funny, Rick, but I also want the question. Rick, and I'm actually picking up what you're putting down, and uh, we're not going to go that route, okay? Um, what is the first porn that you saw? Rick, go ahead. Action Sports Sex. Bought the DVD <laughs> and the DVD player, uh, and I bought that at the same time as The Matrix. So when my parents saw I got a DVD player, I could show them why. Is that How did you have that teed up so fast? I remember. Or did you just kind of figure where I was going to look next, and you went with No, it? I remember Action Sports Sex. My action <laughs> Sports Sex? Yeah, it was like... Do you remember the scene, action. any of the scenes? Yeah, Are they course. in like a locker, locker room? No, it's, it's like martial arts stuff. Yoga. Oh. Uh, martial arts stuff on Ew. the mats, and then like he's teaching her how to fight, and then his dick pops out, and she's like, I guess I got to <laughs> fuck this thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best. That, that's I remember one of, these girl, one of the girls had a, a little space between her teeth that I, that I liked. I, the, yeah. Go ahead. No, I was gonna say. <laughs> I was gonna say. Do you know Bernie Kosar's daughter did porn for a hot minute? I don't know who Bernie Kosar is. Do you? Right? He's he a sure Browns does. quarterback. Oh, last yeah. one to win the Super Bowl. Okay, I love. <laughs> this, I love, dude. The Super Bowl commercials. That's like the articles in Playboy. That's what people really show up for. Yeah. Mm, yes. I like when they do. Come on, man. I like that guy's voice where he goes. Ne- <laughs> he goes. Next up was Susie Goldberg. Come on, man. That voice, great that, voice. that voice that you just did, Pretty good. I, I will send it to you if you could if we could do a quick cutaway to an old uh, sketch that we all did. But the guy, oh, goes, that's oh right. my god, that's could right. Could you mark this and I'll send it to you? Uh, the you were great, okay. Brady. Yeah, you were well, great at it. Well, Switching we, to get go. Why don't we cut to it now? That's good. Bang. And then what I like to do is you could snap your fingers and say, "And we're back." I'm not good at as if we as if we had just watched it. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny, Brady. So old. That was probably eight we, years I didn't have, ago. That was yeah, eight I or nine years ago. Eight or nine years ago with Susie we, Goldberry. All right. Touching the gecko. Um, <laughs> what is really funny. <laughs> I hope you, and you, you should put that in. If not, Touching the gecko. If you want to see it, you could just you send me an just... email at takeyourshoesoffpodcast at gmail.com. <laughs> Thanks, and I'll right. be happy to send you a link. We'll get to that later. Um, did you guys, you guys remember when I used to do that on stage? Or do you remember your first joke that you did on stage? Uh, I used to do those movie act outs. Do you can remember you, those? Can you give us a little juice? I used to be like, guys, because I came from improv, so I wanted to be visual. I'd be like, I'd be like, this is what was one of them. This uh, is what it's. Well, yeah, you remember? Yeah, well, I, I, I think I uh, remember the structure. I don't remember the specific. What yeah, was, you, you, you would say that like people in in real life they make scenes a little bit yeah, more yeah. dramatic yeah, yeah, than course, they really course, are. Course. For example, when uh, when you're coming home from war. Yeah, coming home from war. <laughs> so when you come home from <laughs> war, and it was good. Yeah, it was good. I, for, especially for I remember that. You come home from war, this is what it looks like in real life. And like I'd be at the airport, I'd be like... <sighs> and then I'd be like, this is what it looks like in a movie. And I'd be like... <sighs> and then I'd like throw him in the air, and I'd wait to catch my boy, and I'd catch him and stuff, you know. Wouldn't you throw him in the air for a while? Yeah, it'd be a long time, and I'd, and I'd stand there like this. <laughs> so stupid. And that's when I exploded onto the scene. Yeah, dude. dude, I was really crushing it when I go, you ever have your chick engine like That was the one? best one! And then six months later, it goes off, and you're like... Well, I guess I fixed that problem. Dude, you got to a point where Brady was... So, yes. Which means nothing. You didn't always do that. You grew to that point. He got so sick of this joke would always kill. And he got so sick of it. He would... He added that. He would be like, he like, guess I fixed that fucking problem. The audience would laugh. Brady would be bored. And he'd go like... Knock it out of the park. (laughs) Rick, do you remember your first uh, joke? Probably dick nipples. I'm huh? sorry, I, I was on my phone. I dick just nipples was pretty that. funny. I remember that. We used to do that at the I.O. West <laughs> open <laughs> mic Sunday, two minutes. Yeah. I do remember my first. I remember the jokes of my first set that I ever did. Can you give us and one? Yeah, of them? Yeah, th- I'll tell you a quick one. Uh, I didn't cut do this to too 10 long. Ten minutes later. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. We'll, do, we'll do a jump cut to this so, now. Uh, we're all sweating. 
Uh, this time it was flying by. I did my impression. I get into the and okay. I got so many good things. Go ahead, no, 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 I'm sorry. Uh, it's 30, a, who 30. cares? Let's go. Yeah, so I want to hear his first joke. Here's my impression of a guy. Here's my impression of what, how people <laughs> respond when they find out that I've never had an Oreo before. And then I would turn around and get in character and come back and go, You've never had an Oreo before? <laughs> <laughs> it is what he said it would be. Dude, I used to I used to do that when uh, I I'd go white people laugh like this and then black people laugh like this and then right. I drop the microphone and I would run off stage. What, <laughs> Great, let me see. Your, come back. What did you do about your Mark Wahlberg? How was your how'd your Mark Wahlberg uh, the train is gone joke go? He's always out of there breath. There was nothing. To, there was yeah, nothing. He's different. always out of breath. I go. Why is he always out of breath? And he why'd you go oh, he, re- he repeats everything <laughs> everyone says. <laughs> why'd you go train? Why'd you stop the train? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at me. Why'd you stop the train? <laughs> yeah, that was great, man. That's, yeah, good. Was That's really when we good. were on the rise. Uh, John, what would you say is your first huge mm. accomplishment? Um, getting Allison to date me. Yeah, but dude, are you talking about career? She's not going to listen to this, so you don't have to say. I, that. You get? Are you talking career stuff? Yeah, or like life stuff. First accomplishment, career wise. Well, getting on my first TV show on Undateable was really important to me. But what also, the... making my first Herald team at I O in Chicago—that was a big deal. I was like nineteen, like I, you know, I dropped out of college to do improv. That is time. really hard to do. Yeah, I moved. I was like, "Fuck college! I don't want to get student loans. I'm going to do improv full time." Yeah, and I moved to Wrigleyville. I lived right by Wrigley Field, I, and I O was so like it was so hard to get mm-hmm. in. And I was a spaz, even more of a spaz than I am now. And I think you've I, toned down a lot. Uh, yeah, probably, hopefully. And I made it. I made it on a team. And I, I was like, holy shit, I'm on an I.O. team, dude. Oh, that's, my God. That's pretty, that's pretty huge, yeah. dude. And I felt comfortable. I was, I was finding my voice. I was finding confidence. It was, it was great. How was the process? Because I know people that do listen to this, and I actually have people that listen to this, Rick. <laughs> uh, um, what, what was the process of getting your stuff done dateable real quick? Like, was it really hard? Did you have to write a bunch of scripts and then get it to them? Or... Yeah, so I... Re- Did it help that you had buddies that were on the show? Yeah, definitely, because it went... I was trying to write... I was sick of auditioning, as I'm sure you're going to... It's the worst. It is the absolute and worst. I was trying to write stuff, and I was like, you know, I really like doing stand-up because you write the thing, you make it better. And so I would I would read office scripts, like shooting drafts of The Office, right? and I would just memorize how long scenes are, where the commercial breaks go, how the stories lay out over the commercial breaks. So you basically taught yourself. Yeah, just from being, I was, I've been watching sitcoms every day, my, like I'm obsessed. So right. like I was just kind of in tune to the rhythm. And so we had a show at the Improv one night that, that randomly Brent was, had just had a meeting with Bill Lawrence. So Bill was going to come that night to see Brent. And Rick and I were on the show that night. And Bill we Lawrence got, is, was our boss on Incredible. Right. He created Scrubs and right. Cougar Town and Spin <clears throat> City. And he hung out with us that night. He's a big time guy. Yeah, he hung out with us at the Improv till like midnight after he saw our, our shows. And he just kind of stayed in touch with us and he liked us. And when the show came along, he had Brent and Rick come in and he had me audition for a role. I did not get it. How did you do in that? I remember I remember where we were when you told me you were auditioning for that. I was helping you walk the dogs. At oh, that's right. Rending Park or yeah, whatever. I, yeah, and I had this audition tomorrow or whatever. It was it went fine, but you know, I wasn't like a, a powerhouse or whatever. But it was you know, whatever. <laughs> Rick, how did you feel when you did the undateable audition? Did you think you got it or were you like this is no good? Uh, I felt like I, I I felt like I got it, but I also I walk out of almost every audition thinking I got it. That's good though. I mean, that's yeah. the way you should Think. That's that's not yeah. based on the pattern of me booking so much. No, it's much. just confidence. Y- yeah, uh, yeah. All right. Yeah, uh, people say that that the audition process for them is. I don't love having to go everywhere and put Me- in the work to read everything. everything yeah. and, but uh, I I really love auditioning. I, you, that's a great you know skill. What, that's a great asset. Like I I don't mind it anymore. I don't mind it, but I used to fucking hate it because I, I just w- didn't have the confidence going in the room. Yeah, I just wasn't confident. Is that based off of not having booked something? Yes. Because you are a confident person. Right. But I'm not confident. In the, well, I was not confident in the room. But now, I mean, I am. You I know, it, it's, it's, it's like great. like Mark Cuban says with businesses, it's, it's, uh, you only need one thing to hit. And it can't be a hobby. It has be. to be a business. Yeah. As, and that's yeah. not, that's, I couldn't say that's directly analogous well, shark to Shark Tank, acting. guys. I feel like we're really dabbling into Shark Tank. I feel <laughs> that entrepreneurship and acting are very different. How, what did you say? Entre- what? Entre- entrepreneurship. Got it. And can I just say something about auditioning? Because uh, I've had some experience being on the other side of the audition where I'm the one watching and giving feedback on people's tapes right. in the writer's room. It is really, as I'm sure you guys know, you could crush it and it's just it's just not your role. Totally. Your job is just to say, this is what I would look like in this role or this what, is, I bring yeah. to, what I bring to it. I think that's a good way of yeah. putting it because a lot of people don't yeah. think that way. Like, oh, maybe you're too attractive. Maybe this is an ugly guy. Right. And you I know. get that pretty much 99% of the time. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. 
And also for small roles, like two or three line roles, people don't understand their job is to make this, the star, the series regular shine. Right. You're giving the series regular something to react to. People come in and try to be like, oh, this is my shot. I'm going to fucking crush this. Right. <laughs> You're just supposed to set them up. Do you think you can be too over the top when you go into the room? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Do you think you can be too over the top? I think I've only been too over the top. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, say, I teed you up for that, dude. Yeah. I, I do think. Do you whiten your teeth? Do you have white, nice, straight teeth? Thank you. you well, my bottom row. His bottom row is ugly as shit. Mine too. Not You're, mine. Yeah, because you do Invisalign Thank and you're you. a homosexual. And you were, I'm actually straight, and you were a model for Invisalign. I was a model for Invisalign. I went Paid to get Invisalign at the grand. dentist, and I look at, on the wall, Brady's mm-hmm. sitting there like this. Yeah. I have a thought <laughs> on, on, the, on, the, on the being yeah. big. Thanks, John. Yeah. Especially for sitcom stuff. Yeah. You're, you, uh, you generally, the, in an audition, you have the job of the scene, but what you're supposed to show them is one of two things at least, which is either how am I going to set up whoever the scene is for, yeah. or I, can I be super funny? It's, they're not mutually exclusive, but you have to understand what your job is in this moment. And when That's it, good advice. But when yeah. it is to be funny, I find that a lot of times you don't get a second chance. Right. And I good would metaphor ra- for life. I would rather them think that I would rather them want me to bring it down than bring it up because most people could bring it down. Not everybody can bring it up. Yeah. So what I do is if I'm going to come in and do something that's very, very big energy, I don't want them to think that's me. Um, I want them to think that's the choices I'm making. So I sometimes will consciously go in almost playing nervous or at least very like Small. introverted and, and hello and, and they ask me questions and good and, and I don't start the conversation or whatever. I wait for the scene to go so then it looks they could see the difference between this low energy so when they see it's a choice, they could direct it better. Do you like being a uh, leading guy, or do you like being like the setup guy? Never been leading guy. Until I love now. Perhaps. Well, the, the Harold Ramis thing. Oh, that was still that a, was a, a, that's a big Is it ensemble. out yet? Yeah, it's out. Yeah. yeah, it's on Netflix. What is it called? A Futile and Have Stupid you seen Gesture. It? You seen him? So now you know who Rick is. It's really cool. It's, it's a, I, I'm going to watch it. It's an origin story of the National Lampoon and, and uh, where like Chevy Chase and Bill Murray and all these people. Did that, someone play Chevy Chase? Yeah, Joel McHale. Did he really? Which is cool because they have a Future personal Grace relationship with each good? other. From yeah. Fantastic. Really good. His really? arms were a little too big for Chevy Chase. but uh, Chevy Grace. Chase has got some pretty big arms. Joel McHale's body he's, is fucking he's, insane. He's like I know, an he's athlete. jacked. He's yeah. like Tom Brady. Like, I don't eat anything. It's Shout great. out to Joel McHale's body. Yeah. Does, we'll he have like, does he have like a cryo chamber and everything in his fucking basement and shit? He has like, great genetics. Like Joe Rogan. And he's been working at this. He uh, it was a uh, collegiate athlete. Yep. And he's been working at He's just his best body. So are you, though. Well, appreciate it. Yeah. All right, let's get into the hard-hitting questions Please. here. Um, Rick, it. can you beat Blake Griffin one-on-one? No. Okay, moving no. on. Um, these are what I like to call... Well, f- no, <laughs> you cannot. You cannot. <laughs> There's absolutely no way. <laughs> no way. He's only got... You can probably D up, yeah. the argu- up a little the ar- bit. The argument that's been going on all with NBA's, us... like, third team this <laughs> yeah, year. Right, come on, bro. <laughs> he can dunk from the three-throw line. He's one of the best 15 The argument the is in a game to 11... <laughs> he's no, on the shittiest team. No make it, take it. He thinks that I could score. I don't remember. I think he said I could score one point or two points, but definitely not. When I was there, he said if I'm playing playoff defense, you couldn't score or dribble at all. When we just did this podcast, <laughs> there, there's I, there's can't be. Yeah, I just can't, I can't believe this. If I, I, I'm I'm very quick and a back. Even what I'm just backing up, I have Dude, a, a minimum eleven a attempts le- to hit a three. Le- there's levels though. Not only is he in the NBA, not only is he a starter, not yes. only is he an All Star, yeah. he's an All NBA. Point four, and he carries. Can, and his, he very carried. Good. He carried the whole team to the playoffs. And his vertical is out of <laughs> out of control. All right, next, he's and very he good. Shoot, next, next, he question. was eleventh place this year in threes. If Blake you, Griffin was eleventh place. If you want to hear more about this stuff, you can check out Take Your Shoes Off podcast. It's episode twenty with Blake Griffin. Mm-hmm. You can go to youtubecom slash Rick Glassman or just Rick Glassman. We'll get to that. Okay. Um, so these are funny rapid questions. Here okay. we go. Ooh. Ready? Yeah, this is where it gets wacky. Okay, John, you go first. Since we only have fucking ten minutes left, I gotta I gotta move on. Okay. Tried to impress a chick, and it went bad. Rick, go ahead. Never. John? Yeah, a lot of times. I, w- at school, I, there was this girl with this, and I'm sorry, Allison, amazing ass, dude. Oh. And I was at... But I was, Allison doesn't have girl, a, no, different girl. Doesn't different have girl. No, she's got the best one I've ever seen. But uh, at the time, I was 19. I hate to say this, because it's was, my boy's wife, but it's, say it. it's amazing. Sure, I was banging. at Illinois State University. This girl was like, oh, I was like, oh, my God. And so I just quickly, I was at the cafeteria. I wrote down my screen name, and I ran after her outside. Screen and I was name. like, I was, it was in the AIM era. And I was like, excuse me, uh, you dropped this. <laughs> and, and then she IM'd me, and all my friends in the dorm were like, oh, it's the girl. It's the girl. And then we were all like, okay, what do I say? What do I say? And that was kind of. That's not going bad. Tell them about what you But I never went anywhere. Tell them about what I think I might have sent her a nude pic too soon, and then it oh, went away. Oh, no, you sent her a fucking fresh snake? And I, at. 
Tell her it was at a different Illinois time. State Tell University. It was, a different, it was a different time. You sent her a wiener screener? And I was sending And this is the time you had to take digital pictures, plug it into the oh. camera, <laughs> drag and drop it, delete it on the camera. <laughs> yeah. John, John once time. converted for a girl. Yeah. Like legitimately to, at a why church. I'm, that's why I'm Catholic. See, John that's why I'm for, Catholic. John today. was looking for love <laughs> from like day one. Oh, he wasn't looking for love with this one. Yeah. Yeah, I was. Oh. Yeah. All right. Love that girl. Uh, next question. <laughs> is cereal soup? Why or why not? Yes. No, because it's cereal. No, the, the, I have looked this up before. The definition of soup There's is, cold soup. The definition of soup is, is <clears throat> containing a broth. Mm. It's not about something in a liquid. And milk is not considered a broth unless it's brined with a dirty lake. It's salt. It can't go around. So no. Technically Are you still not, not putting uh, butter or anything on your, on your toast, right? I put almond butter on my toast. Right, but I remember there was a time there was something real specific. Every time we go out to eat, there was something like... Oh, he, it was just he makes a, a ton of substitutions. <sighs> if you want to actually check out on Instagram, at Jumods, where I post all my modifications. <laughs> that's is. at Jumods. J-W-M-O-D-S. Are you still doing Glassman boppers? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're I out there. I haven't seen them recently. What? Yeah. John asked if he could tell everybody how little my wiener is. <laughs> Can I? No, he doesn't have a little wiener. He's got a. Rick, Rick, and Rick actually have the same size. Rick has sent me a picture of his wiener. Back it was in a different the, time. It was back, a different time. Back in the I Disney. remember that. I yes. remember being like, "What are you fucking idiots yeah, doing?" Thomas Dale sent me a picture of his. Wait, wiener. did I? Really I was like, "Why am I wiener? the guy that's getting the that picture of the wieners?" Sense. Yes. <laughs> um. What do you guys mean? Oh sure. Yeah. Come on. So Rick, We're, we got Rick, dead air. Have you watched Parenthood or Friday Night Lights? <laughs> Which one? Either or both. Sure. He goes no. <laughs> Rick booked the lead role in Matt Ryder's new pilot, which is for Amazon. Rick is the lead. It's a show called On the Spectrum. Well, it well was, that's, 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 that's leading man. Yeah. We'll see. And the pilot shoots next week. And fingers steps. crossed. But Jason Tatum's is one of the best uh, drama writers in television. Why do I keep thinking Jason Tatum from the Celtics? Because, because he's, he's a basketball, basketball player. player. Mm. And we <laughs> love basketball. basketball. That's the name of the podcast. Um, you're, that's great. For Amazon? What's the character? What do you play? So people can look forward to this. And I wanted to say that because it's the exact opposite of everything he said. There's no bigness. It's the smallest character of all time. Go ahead. And you went in and acted small in this, or did you go over the well, top? I, I, my first day is uh, is next week. We right. haven't filmed it yet. And also, I, I don't mind bringing up a little bit. I kind of don't really want to talk about it at the moment. Sure. It's, you know, craft, right. dude, SAG, Okay, acting, moving on. Everyone has well, maybe, maybe if, if, if the show gets picked up and I'm I'd still part of it, maybe back. you could have me back, and I'll, I'll share that one. I'd love to have you back, or maybe have me on your podcast, which will probably never happen. Yeah, okay, so what's... Once, the, once we the get to... He rejects the pain Yeah, so, so now let's... Now, Sean, let's also talk subtext of that statement. Well, that ahead. was actually text. That I don't was think text. that was subtext. That was I think text. he feels that his friends don't put him on their successful podcast. It's fine, dude. Projecting I that get onto it. you. I get do it. Do I have a successful podcast? Yeah, do you? Sure. What would you call it? A podcast. The name of it. How do you people find it? Take your shoes And by the way, I'm, I'm totally, totally I was joking. the first guest. I, 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 Brady, I would love to have you on. I would love to do it. I would love to come back. And I would love for you to come back, too. Maybe the three yeah. of us could come on at some point, and we could talk about um, how you feel that people aren't reciprocating some of the things. That I want to talk you about you too, not just about us. Yes, thank yeah, you. Yeah, and I'm curious if 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 your expectations aren't being met, or it's certain patterns and 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 kind of narratives that you have. I've always wanted to ask you either this. created it's on or the noticed. Same topic. Probably. I've always wanted to. Talk, we always joke about the SNL stuff. Yeah. And I always want to say, everyone I know who's been on that show auditioned like four or five times and got passed over like three or four times. H how many times did Mel audition for? Like three. Did she really? Yeah. And like Mike O'Brien did like three or four and like, you know. It was yeah, but they want like younger guys now. Like what do you guys think about that thing about the guy, what he said about the Asian people? So my big thing about that personally. Do you think is he should have been kicked off? Yes, I just because I just don't think he was funny at all. I didn't either. Nothing about it was funny. Do he you know Shane Gillis? I don't know him personally. I know the headlines. I didn't hear what he said. Uh, I could talk on it if he you want, said, but I think he said John what an eighth is, grade bully would say. And about it was it yeah. was it was just not even funny. Right, there was no point of view, there was no slant, there was no opinion. It was just well, like, well, didn't he? Wasn't the did was, you say no slant? Yeah, well, no, I'm yeah. No, no, no. I mean, John, like a point dude, of view, John, like a take. Bro, guys, guys, you trying to get a writing say, job again? No, <laughs> Let's move oh, yeah. on with some questions here. Sure. <laughs> what is? <laughs> I would love to have you on the podcast and talk about. And I think you have to keep on trying to get on us. I think it that takes three, four. No, I, I, I definitely, I definitely am. I have some yeah. other stuff in, in the works. Good. It's, it's not all, um, it's not all uh, good. You know, so <laughs> the the idea of be, you know, it's easy to get let down. Yeah, I just um, got a pass yesterday. And uh, you have such an amazing, and this is such a corny statement again, but it's literally how easy to describe. It. You have such an amazing energy. Where I, I would have to imagine, and I haven't seen you much in the past few years, so I'm not sure. Yeah. But I would have to imagine any. Uh, what's that? I said I've been painting. Um, 
Yeah, yeah and, and amazing. Thank amazing. You. Uh, you actually were on the podcast on the Adam Ray episode. We shouted out some of your work. Did you really? Yeah, I remember I asked, oh, yeah, you, I you, asked you about Thank that. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, that uh, if you are feeling anything other than positive, and I think you're kind of this way too, it would maybe get in the way of your comedy. Some people can be dark. 100%. And I, I'm sure you have that in you. Yeah, but your I can't do it. your special thing and your special thing is this. And yours. Thank you so much, but I could be dark. Is this. No, I'm darker than you. Uh, well, you know, I'm. It's a single cam, you know, dramedy that yeah, I'm doing. Yeah, so it's a show that I'm pitching. Guys, save it for the car. That's but <laughs> uh, uh, your know. your thing that makes you shine is that positivity yes, that same I difference. could see that any negative feelings or resentments you have could cannibalize totally. the momentum of that. Yeah. And we don't have time now, of course, and this is not what your podcast is, but I'm going to say it again. I'll but take I your shoes off. It. I would love to have you on and talk, if you could, honestly, about what maybe things you think have, you have gotten in your own way about and how we can maybe get fix that. Yeah. Mm, that's good. That's like a different podcast, Rick. That's the co- Take your shoes off. That's John, how would you he, explain take your says. shoes off? He gets a very real, very deep, real conversation. But it's also finny, funny and silly sometimes. Yeah, if it comes up organically. Yeah. But that's why I like that. I like that. Yeah, yeah. you would love it. <clears> the <throat> Take Your Shoes Off podcast. Thank you. Okay, I like that. Yeah. Thanks, guys. That, that felt good. Yeah. We're not going to end on that, though. Yeah, yeah, hit us. Okay, here we go. Before, I want to get into before it. Before we get you guys out of here. What's the most embarrassing thing you've ever, ever worn? That's a stupid question. <laughs> 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 is that the most embarrassing question you've ever asked? I don't even know, I don't even know where that came from. No, this next one is, watch this. Oh, like, yeah, actually, yeah, you might be right. Uh, what's the most uh, embarrassing thing you've ever worn? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I wore really baggy Jinko shorts when I was in seventh grade. Welcome to my world. And they went to my ankle, and they went they, <laughs> Stop, they were no at way. least four times thicker <laughs> than my leg. <laughs> and I was like, this is what the cool what, kids are why wearing. Why you just put pants on? <laughs> this is <laughs> what the cool kids are wearing, so I guess we're going to wear it. What's the, what's the worst Halloween costume you've ever worn? Oh, I could tell him. Yeah, I could right, tell you, and it wasn't. Rick even, loves it this wasn't story. even on Halloween. That's why it's so sad. But yeah, go ahead. This so, is a really sad. Story. So, so John, John, I bet you I got you beat. John, um, John, when he moved to Los Angeles, as we all did, don't know what we're doing. I was don't staying have any, at T.J. Miller's apartment. Do, and needing really, yeah, he was in Pittsburgh doing a movie. Oh wow, needing money, and John noticed that there's a way of making money by going to Hollywood Boulevard if you could dress up as one of these characters. No, yes, dude, yes, 100%, so he went to yeah. a costume. Brad Pitt in a chicken costume. I was Boba Fett, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I never knew that. How much, how much did went, it cost you? It cost me sixty dollars. <laughs> there was a costume shop on Hollywood Boulevard that I could walk to. It was sixty oh, bucks. And this isn't a costume. It that, was like that a is Halloween a, kid. This costume. is a mask with a string. Yeah, in the like back. a string mask, <laughs> string mask. So I'm I'm on Hollywood Boulevard. I'm at the Chinese theater. I'm standing out there an hour, two hours. No <laughs> one's coming up to me. Everyone oh. else is taking pictures with the better costumes, and so I just quit after two hours. <laughs> and I had the Boba Fett costume in my trunk for like three years. So I'm I'm good friends with John now. I see this Boba Fett thing in his trunk <laughs> at years later, and he tells me, and he tells me the story, and and with all sincerity, he says, "Ricky, it was the low point of my life." It was the low point. <laughs> he said he was out there for how many hours? Like three hours. Three hours, one day. Oh. Didn't, didn't get one picture, Thank no money. So get, it cost him sixty dollar. bucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No one. Yeah. Yeah. You <laughs> got nothing, dude. It was like you have to. Well, oh you have to go God. through that stuff if you're gonna. Live out, move out here. No, you don't. It. Yes, you do. Dude. I never did that. I, were, I was a stormtrooper. You were an extra, dude. That's still dark. Dude, I used but to like, teach ballroom dancing. That's awesome. Yeah. What kind of dancing? But at least you got paid. Fox, Walt, Tr- Walt Really? Yeah. At least you got it. paid, dude. Wait, no, I didn't. You, you, <laughs> I didn't. What? No, I could barely learn any of them. So I was there for like a month and a half, and I couldn't learn. Sh- I was Wait, so stupid. Wait, you were teaching it without knowing how to do it? Yeah. Oh, who, who let you teach it? Where did you find the students that didn't pe- pay you? These people. It was in It was in the valley, and this lady's like, do you know a couple things? I'm like, I got it. Well, how did I, you meet this lady who said, you know a couple things? I saw it in Craigslist. Yeah, so looking is. for a ballroom dance instructor. Dance instructor. She you goes, emailed her. And you're like, I got this. Yeah, I'm like, I'm a good dancer. I can fake it. And so hold they, on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. You saw this and you emailed. You thought to yourself, "I can do this." So you emailed her and you said, "I can, I can do all these dances." And she said, "All right, let's meet." <laughs> yes. So you meet and it's at her house, a studio. It was a, a studio. It was a big studio, and they have a dance night. And she goes, "I'm going to let you test it out." And she goes, "We're going to throw some dances, and you just grab." Someone. So the first meeting was an actual instruction. Yes. And I oh fucking ate shit. Did you so practice bad. like a lineup? That I looked online. Oh my god! I ran into and it was so one. uncomfortable. It was so bad. After like a oh. half an hour, she's like. Do you know any of these dances? And I go, no, I don't. I don't know any of them. And she goes, okay, we're good here. We're what was good. the payment that was agreed upon before this? It was like like thirteen bucks an hour. And she said, so that's that's, that's six fifty. And she said, I'm not paying you, or you didn't even ask. Didn't even ask because it was like a trial. It was, yeah. like, it was like a trial. I have another one. Did you? Hold on, I'm sorry. One more question about that. In that moment, are you embarrassed, or do you think this is so funny what I just did? I thought it was so funny. Yeah, that's that really is. funny. Yeah, I wasn't embarrassed because I did talk about it on stage, but everyone's like, mm, that's mm. sad. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think is sadder, my Boba Fett story or this story, where I 
also just moved here. I saw this Craigslist ad for to be dressed up as a superhero at little kids' birthday parties to go to those parties. <laughs> so I, I was like, that. yeah, I could do that. So I go to, for a trial run with the guy, and he's like a 50-year-old guy who's wearing like Spider-Man costume or whatever. And they're like, you'll be Clark Kent because I kind of look dorky. And so I go through this childhood party, and the kid's are like, so are you Superman? I go, yeah, but I'm not, you're not supposed to know that or whatever. And then it got time for me to go the next day and, like, be a superhero. And I got so insecure and nervous that I emailed the guy and said, see you, Rick. See you, Rick. And said, sorry, I can't make it. My sister died. I have to fly home. <laughs> Oh and I don't have any siblings. I have a little child. So I was just like, you didn't feel bad I about was it. Like, I was like, I can't fucking go to this party <laughs> and be like, be, like, be like super bad or something. So I said, I'm sorry if my sister my died. Sister, I can't make it. Why did you just not respond and not go? Yeah, that's a great, that's a great question, dude. Because you would have crushed those kids' dreams. I, no, this was to the guy who runs the company. <laughs> that I said that to. I was like, you're going to have to find a different. And he was probably like, yeah, sounds good. Yeah, you're going to find a different Robin. Condolences. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll end on these and then we'll, we'll get you guys out of here. Um. That one's crazy. Uh, what's the weirdest thing a guest has ever done at your house or you've done at their house? You ever shit in someone's upper tanker? You ever done that? It's pretty mean. I've done that. No? Nothing? No, I'm a pretty... You don't eat all their I'm, food or like no, you've I'm never good, clogged their toilet? Good guy. With, I, I've clogged toilets. Yes, I've yeah. done that. And then like you have to... I was babysitting for a guy and I said, hey, on your way home, you have to get a plunger. He didn't, <laughs> he didn't, he didn't, have, a plunger. He didn't have a plunger. That's the worst. <laughs> yeah. If you had a bad date or something, you're yeah. to go home and get a fucking plunger. Yeah. Rick, nothing? I once, I mean, I don't know if this is that big of a deal, but I had to go to the bathroom and I couldn't, uh, and I was, I was house sitting and I couldn't make it to the bathroom, so I just shit all over their <laughs> master bedroom's closet. I would say that's pretty huge. You shit all over their closet. <laughs> I'm just joking. I, don't <laughs> I was know. like, what? I don't know. I, yeah. Why would you go in the closet if you couldn't shit? He's like, mm, fuck the bathroom. <laughs> well, the, you have to go through the closet to get to the bathroom, obviously. It's a nice home. And, uh, no, I've never I, gone through a closet yeah, to go to the bathroom. That's not the staple of it. I saw. No, no, I was just playing <laughs> with you guys. That's fine. You can't get all of them. Um, what's <laughs> What's the worst baby name? Um, um uh, Jacobib. Jacob. Yeah, I was actually going to say that. <laughs> That's so weird that I was going to say, like, what are we talking about? That's Will name. Sorry, Jacobib. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, maybe, maybe, maybe uh, like, uh, Butthole. That'd be, uh, that's, what's their nickname? BH. BH. What about buns? Yeah, it could be Cause, Donald. Because why is Dick? Why is Richard a nick? What is Dick the nickname for Richard? Why it's is not it? even in the? It's not even in the name. Same with Bob and Robert. Those are the two. I don't get it. Back in the day, John and Jack used to be nicknames for each other. Jack me off her. All right. Uh, it's okay, Brady. I got this, John. Actually, John, John, let me do this. Not all of them John, can no, be no, funny. No, I get it. Oh. Sorry, I get it. What sport would be the funniest if you added a mandatory amount of alcohol to? Who wrote these? You did. Uh, beer pong. <laughs> you guys, thank you so much for tuning into This Is First. Hold on, last one. <laughs> oh. Last one. What celeb would you like kiss your mom? What's the what? What celebrity would you like kiss your mom? Oh, all of them. Anyone can. Sure. Go, go to town. Joe McHale? <laughs> yeah, definitely. With, with some cough syrup? Yeah, that would be great. All right. I've been Brady Matthews. Uh, this Still is are, probably. Episode, I'm right now, so far. Uh, Brady Matthews, uh, my first. You can please subscribe to us at ComedyPopUpLA.com. Um, Rick? Would, hey you like to, would you like to plug plug uh, all your good stuff? Yeah. You can check out John's Instagram at, at John DeWalt. Insta stories are funny. He is cool. You could also check him out on Twitter at the same thing. But no, to be I honest with Twitter you, is dead. yeah, it's Instagram. Twitter is stupid. Yeah, that's it's where Instagram. you want to see John. And yeah. where can people find you, Rick? Again, even though you said it a million times throughout the podcast, where can people find you? John, go ahead with Rick. Uh, he's at YouTube.com slash Rick Glassman. And take your shoes off podcast. Brady, do one of your stand-up jokes. Tell him on us. my Instagram. And Rick Glassman on Instagram. Thanks. Uh, hit, a, hit us with a, a closer. I th that was it. That was the closer. Well, I would love, uh, without any interruption and a full thing, could I you go set, up the, set up the uh, Mark Wahlberg one? Because it is really funny. Could you just do that? Why does Mark Wahlberg always look like he left the windshield wipers on? Don't do oh, it. No. Don't, no, don't do it. Sell it. Way. Sell it. No, really. You like, love it's it. A really this funny is your bet. material. Why does Mark Wahlberg always, uh, every movie he's in, um, has, he's out of breath and... Uh, Hold on one sec. Wait. I forget my bit now. You put me on the spot. We, we don't need to cut that out, but I would love if it's possible to put in a little... I'm going to introduce him, or who John you, will introduce who him. Who do you hate in the comments? And then uh, we'll put in a little applause. If you could put in a little applause. Uh, no, no pressure. But John, in, uh, John is hosting tonight. Please bring up Brady. Fin finish off just the end of your oh, yeah, closer yeah, right, right. first. Of course, of course. Of you don't course. need to set it up. Just the end. And uh, next thing you know... They got divorced. Guys, thank you so much. My name's been John DeWalt. Uh, give it up for your wait staff. Thank you so much, guys. Guys, John DeWalt. Who's Rick next? Glassman. Who's next? 
Uh, uh, oh, yes. Oh, my God. I love this guy. He's one of my best friends. You're going to love this guy. guy. Guys, we started together in the game. Uh, he's a Chicago fan just like me. Got to check out his you. painting on Instagram. Yeah. Slash Brady Paints. Guys, you're about to laugh your ass off. Give it up for Brady Matthews. <laughs> guys, thank <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, um, I'll leave you on this. I'll leave you on this. Uh, <laughs> why, does, why does Matthew McConaughey always look like he left the windshield wipers on in every movie he's in? Okay, <laughs> guys, I've been Brady Matthews. That's been John DeWalt. That's been Rick Glassman. Thank you for tuning in. Please check us out at Comedy Pop Up to LA.com uh, and check out all my other uh, Instagram stuff and whatever. Okay, I love you. <laughs> bye bye.